Fear and anger prompted an airline to remove Valley Muslims from a plane. Tonight, some say those Muslim men share some of the responsibility. The men were scheduled to fly from Minneapolis to Phoenix, but they were removed after they began saying their evening prayers in Arabic. Kevin Kennedy has more on the controversy. Kevin? Yeah, guys, here in the United States, it is legal to pray in public, but when, where, and how you pray can be a bit concerning to others. Now, some Muslims say that is ignorance. Others say it is reality and that they are the ones that have to adjust. Every day at sunset, almost two billion Muslims pray. This is part of my faith, five times a day. Omar Shaheen, one of the six Muslims, pulled off a U.S. Airways flight. Passengers concerned after seeing three of the men praying and chanting in Arabic. Why not do it? Is it a freedom country? Is it okay for me to practice or not okay to practice my faith? The answer is yes, but many people question the place they chose. That includes Imzudi Jasser, a Muslim himself. The act of somebody praying in group at a gate or before in an airport before taking off is going to bring concern. Concern they achieve, but they deny trying to scare or frighten anyone. Absolutely nobody had such intention. We did that because it was time of the prayer to be done. We don't want this attention. We don't need this attention. But attention is what they're getting from the media and U.S. airways. Mohammed El Shikarwe isn't a spokesperson, but he is an employee of the airlines, and he's outraged at his company. This absolutely has nothing to do with safety. This is ignorance. It's absolutely ignorance. Some Muslims disagree and put partial blame on these men. It's either them testing the waters of airport climate, or it's a, it's a, it's a demonstration of supreme naivete. As you can see, there is a clear difference of opinion between people within the Muslim community. As for praying out loud at sunset like those three men were at that Minneapolis airport, some will tell you it is imperative to pray out loud, while others will say it is okay to pray privately. We're live in Phoenix. I'm Kevin Kennedy, 12 News.